And so when they start out a publishing company, yes. uh, what is the difference that, what can you do that they cannot do themselves when they are young uh, and, and new in the publishing field? Well, one of the, I suppose, areas of when you're experienced in the publishing field is to know exactly where to go and find the money mm -hmm. and where maybe uh, things aren't quite right. Mm -hmm. You know, I can look down a royalty statement or look at a, a report from an overseas publisher and I can tell whether I think there is something right or wrong um, immediately by looking at it. And I think only an experienced eye would know uh, whether things are are quite right. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a lot of problems still, I think, in certain parts of the world with collecting the correct royalties from the collection societies. Mm -hmm. And um, in my position as director of the Performing Rights Society, um, I know all the practices of the overseas societies and um, you know, the best way to ensure that all my writers get their you know, full royalties. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that maybe young publishers uh, uh, maybe don't realize that they spend so much time being creative and signing the writers um, and, and, um, and doing the deals that they m maybe don't ensure that their administration is as sufficient as it needs to be and that the time and effort to ensure that the royalty statements are correct and that the writers receive their full royalties um, maybe is too time-consuming or too boring for them to worry about. And they're worrying about where the next hit is, not where the next, you know, ten pounds from a, a royalty statement is or mm. something. Um, so I feel that I can offer them experience um, and the ability to ensure that they get their rightful royalties. Mm -hmm. It's not enough that they are signed up with a, a collecting society, in other words. No, because I think that there are a lot of other areas where one can earn money in uh, the publishing field than just purely straight mechanical royalties or straight performance royalties. There's synchronization rights, there's um, the use of songs in TV commercials.